we're going to find a volume of a wedge that is cut out of a, a circular cylinder of radius 4 by a plane that intersects the cylinder along a diameter at an angle of 30 degrees. So first thing we're going to do is draw a rough sketch of the wedge. Let this be our x-axis and wedge may look something like this. Now the boundary of the original cylinder is a circle x squared plus y squared equals to 16 because the cylinder has radius 4. The plane cuts the cylinder through the diameter of the base so this is the upper semicircle. We solve for y. y is equal to square root of 16 minus x squared. So if this we situate this with center at the origin, this is minus 4 and this is 4. And we're going to use a technique called cross section, volumes by cross section. First we'll select any x between minus 4 and 4 and let's take a cross section that is perpendicular to the x-axis. We draw that, that is a triangular cross section. So triangle looks something like this. Since the plane cuts the cylinder at an angle of 30 degrees, this angle is 30 degrees. And all we have to do is find the area of this triangle as a function of x and integrate from minus 4 to 4 to get the volume of this wedge. So what we know is that this side right here is just the y coordinate on the semicircle and that is this is square root of 16 minus x squared. And Now let's redraw this triangle outside of the wedge. The triangle looks like this. One side has the length of square root of 16 minus x squared and this angle, this is a right triangle, this is angle of 30 degrees and let's call this side A. We see that the area of this triangle, the way it is now, is one half square root of 16 minus x squared times A. So we need to express a as a function of x. So we see that the tangent of 30 degrees is equal to the opposite side over the adjacent side, that is a divided by the square root of 16 minus x squared. Now tangent of 30 degrees is 1 over square root of 3, so 1 divided by the square root of 3 is equal to a divided by square root of 16 minus x squared. Therefore a is equal to 1 over square root of 3 times the square root of 16 minus x squared. And now we can express a of x as a the area of, of a cross-sectional triangle as a function of x. It's 1 half times the square root of 16 minus x squared times a which is 1 over square root of 3 times another square root of 16 minus x squared. So a of x is equal to 1 divided by 2 square root of 3 and the 2 square roots cancel. This is times 16 minus x squared. Now we're ready to find the volume of the wedge. Volume is equal to the integral from minus 4 to 4. 1 divided by 2 square root of 3 times 16 minus x squared. Now we can integrate this directly or we see that this is symmetric. Half of the wedge, half of the volume of the wedge lies when x is from minus 4 to 0 and the other half is when x lies from 0 to 4. So we can write this as 2 times the integral from 0 to 4 of 1 divided by 2 square root of 3 times 16 minus x squared. So first thing we can do here is cancel the 2's and this is equal to 1 divided by the square root of 3. The integral of 16 is 16x minus 1 3rd x cubed 
evaluated from 0 to 4. So this is 1 divided by square root of 3. 16 times 4 is 64 minus 64 divided by 3. So we can simplify this. 64 is 192 over 3. So this is 1 over square root of 3 times 192 minus 64 divided by 3. And our final answer is 128 divided by 3 square root of 3 units cubed is the volume of this wedge. Now we can solve this problem by using another method that is still using the method of cross-section but this time we'll look at cross-sections that are perpendicular to the y-axis instead of x. So let's draw another wedge and this time this is minus 4 and this is 4. Let's bring in the y-axis here. So y-axis is going to run something like that. Let's call that y and this is 4. And we had x squared plus y squared equals to 16. Solving for x as a function of y, x equals plus or minus the square root of 16 minus y squared. So the left side is, this is the left portion, this is x equals minus square root of 16 minus y squared and the right semicircle is x equal to the square root of 16 minus y squared without the minus. Now what we're going to do is take cross sections that are perpendicular to the y-axis. So let this be any y. We see that a cross section perpendicular to the y-axis will look something like this. So we have this part here. This is the line segment on the base perpendicular to the y-axis and then once we make the cross section it goes up like this and the cross section is a rectangle. So we need to now express the area of this rectangle as a function of y and then the volume is going to be this time y is from 0 to 4 so it's the integral from 0 to 4 a of y dy. Now a rectangle has uh, the area of a rectangle is length times width so this the length is half the length is from the y-axis over to the semicircle it's actually the x-coordinate which is square root 16 minus y squared therefore the length is equal to twice the square root of 16 minus y squared. Now we need the width. The width we can think of as this side. If we draw a side here that's parallel to the width, we just can compute that as a function of y. If I come down here to the x-axis and draw this triangle, we see that this is 30 degrees. And let's rewrite this triangle separately. And note that this side has length y. So we're going to redraw this triangle. It looks something like this sideways. This side has length y. Let's call this side a. This side a is precisely the width of the rectangle that we want. And then this is a right triangle and this is 30 degrees. So once again tangent of 30 degrees is equal to a divided by y. We want to solve for a a is equal to y times the tangent of 30 degrees which is equal to 1 over square root of 3 times y. So this is our width and therefore a of y is equal to length times width which is 2 over square root of 3 times y times the square root of 16 minus y squared. And once we have this we go to the formula and the volume of this wedge using variable y is equal to the integral from 0 to 4 of 2 over square root of 3 times y times the square root of 16 minus y squared. We'll evaluate this by substitution. We're going to let u equal to 16 minus y squared 
du is equal to minus 2y dy. So minus 1 half du is equal to y dy. We're going to need to change the limits of integration. When y is equal to 0, u equals to 16. And when y is equal to 4, u is equal to 0. So the volume can be computed as follows. We have 2 over square root of 3 out in front. And then the integral from 16 to 0. It has to be this way because when y is 0, u is 16. When y is 4, u is 0. And then square root of u and y dy is equal to minus 1 half times du. So let's simplify this. The minus 1 half comes out and cancels with the 2, but we still have a minus in front. So this is equal to minus 1 over square root of 3 times the integral from 16 to 0 of square root of u du. We can change the limits of integration, reverse them, because we have a minus in front. This is equal to 1 over square root of 3 times the integral from 0 to 16 of square root of u du. And that's equal to 1 over square root of 3 times 2 thirds times u to the 3 halves evaluated from 0 up to 16. So plugging in 0, of course, we get 0. Once we plug in 16, square root of 16 is 4. 4 cubed is 64. 64 times 2 is 128. So this is equal to 128 over 3 square root of 3, exactly what we had when we uh, found the volume of the wedge uh, integrating with respect to x, that is taking cross sections that are perpendicular to the x-axis.